hey there welcome to another video with Ulrich. in this video i'm going to show you how to deliver your pdf and ebook through click funnels so before we start there are certain elements that we need to use in order to get this video uh, working so we need active campaign which is an autoresponder we will need click funnel obviously and we will need our pdf or ebook so if you want a 14 day free trial of active campaign and click funnels i will put the link in the description below so you can have access to active campaign and click funnels so i i like to use google docs for my pdf the reason why is because um users cannot edit my um my my file you know and also is you know it's protected i'll do a separate video on how to use google doc google slides you know for for your presentations proposal and anything else so let's dive straight in the first thing we need to do is we need to um come here come on file if you want to export this document you need to come down here on download click on pdf document however i've already download this specific document so i don't need to download it twice but that's how you need to do if you want to get a document out once you've done it you need to come down to your account account settings you have to upload your digital asset and you come here to digital asset On digital asset you need to click on new asset i've already uploaded all of this and it's pretty straightforward very easy um you know you click on new there upload it from your computer name it that's it add it and that part specific part is finished we've got our digital assets done and we now move to active campaign so active campaign i I need to give you a quick story about active campaign active campaign i've tried many others autoresponders i've tried about five and i have to say i haven't found any that come as nearly like that has improved my experience as nearly as active campaign so uh that's why i recommend active campaign i'm not going to mention the ones i've used before but that's just for you to know so you come here and click on automations On automation you need to create a new automation right and you can either start from scratch there's so many uh, targets here you can start from but I will start from um, I will choose one here which is called opt-in opt-in obtain incentive delivery right so i'll choose this one i'll move to the next so i have now moved into next i need to add a trigger and a trigger so as you can see here you see these are all triggers action available to start an automation there's so many here subscriber list unsubscribe uh submit a form open blah blah so not going to spend time and um to talk about all of this i'm going to go to tag is added and i create my tag usually the tag will be something related to what you're what you're offering by the way so i will say in this specific case i'll say marketing strategies i will run it once only and add to cut add to start and on add to start you can as you can see there are many steps here i'm going to delete this specific step because i don't actually need it you know um so i'll delete this step it's not important for me i'm going to add an email in this email right i'm going to add the link 
for our PDF. So I will choose this specific template. And just a quick note, uh, Active Campaign does not like, it's not only Active Campaign, it's all autoresponders. They, they don't like um, personal emails, they like business email. What I mean by personal emails is anything ending by gmail.com, hotmail.com, yahoo.com, and so on. The list goes on. So if you need to have an email, you can have emails such as info at your business name, contact at. So an example will be contact at richmedia1.com. That's my email. And now I'm going to add my subject line will be marketing tools and continue. Once it's loaded to this page, you can, you can change the first name. You can personalize it to what you want. Full name, phone number, whatever you want. But I'm going to leave it to first name. And this email is just the instructions on how you should write an email, but I'm not going to delete it because we don't really, this is just an illustration. To, to add our PDF, I'm going to type here, here is our PDF file. And I'm going to go back to, I'm going to go back to click for notes on digital assets, select the specific assets I want to deliver and copy the asset path on the asset path. Once I get back here, I, I will just need to paste the asset path down here. Oops. As you can see, that's basically how huge the link looks like and it's not very clean. So I'll suggest you highlight the highlight your your text select link and paste the link in there just to make it look clean so now you can see here is here is our pdf file right and that's basically you can now on the image here you can change the image right go on settings you know you can change this image you can delete this i'm not going to spend time doing that here now so basically on this specific part, you can add your social link. I'm going to come here and you can click on open, open the social page. And in here you paste all of your social link, right? And then come and save. But I'm not going to add here because this is just an illustration, but you can do that yourself. So once you've done all of that, you need to now save and exit. Now that you have saved and exited, as you can see, um, you can add, you could have, you could also add a condition in here. So add the weight, right? I will say wait uh, for 10 minutes or 11 minutes. And save. So you could wait for 11 minutes just for the time for your prospect to watch a video and then the email will go through. Or you can delete the condition, it's up to you. But I'm not gonna spend much time on, on that really. You can leave the condition or you can delete. <clears throat> That's if you have a, a video on your thank you page. Uh, and then after you've done it, you now need to go to your ClickFunnel account and integrate active campaign with click funnel so you select the page you want to integrate and then click on edit so now once you're on the landing page you need to go to settings and click on integration and here you can integrate your your uh, email automations um, software or your autoresponder uh, actions you need to Add to list and to reach list, I will say lead generation contacts. I'll say that, and then everything is now connected. So, everything is now connected. Don't forget to save your work, otherwise, it won't populate and preview. Now, when somebody fills in this form, 
you know the details they will get the details they will get the email in 11 minutes as we said here so guys also do not forget to set this one as active that's one mistake a lot of people do they don't set this as active they leave it as inactive and they wonder why the email hasn't gone thank you guys for watching uh, if you do have any questions please do not hesitate to ask i'll be more than willing to answer if you also think i've left something in this video please let me know as well uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel and i'll see you next time take care bye